Good day, children of God, let us pray. Lord Jesus, we ask you to please take control. God the Father, take control. God the Holy Spirit, take control. Let this word be a good fruit in our hearts, and may our hearts be as rich soil, that your word may germinate and be a good fruit in Jesus' name. Take absolute control, let it not be me speaking, but you through me, in Jesus' name I pray. Touch my heart and the hearts of all those who hear this, in Jesus' name, amen. So today we're going to be looking at the story of, or right now we're going to be looking at the story of how um, basically some of the apostles of Jesus were um, arrested, um, specifically Paul and Silas were arrested and imprisoned and how God loosened and broke um, the prison um, gates down for them. So um, you can find this story in the book of Acts chapter 16 from verses 16 to 40. So what I'm going to just summarize. So basically what happened was um, at this time Jesus had died, Jesus had risen to heaven and um, the disciples were going around doing exploits for God and of course more was added to them. And so the disciples of Jesus had grown significantly. And so Paul and Silas were one of the two apostles of Jesus um, who were chosen by the disciples. And they went out to preach the word of God. And while they were in one of the towns, they delivered a female who had like a possessed spirit in her. More like a soothsaying spirit, but it was a possessed kind of spirit. Anyways, I believe it was a soothsaying kind of spirit. And so when um, they delivered her... Her, she was a servant girl, so her owners were kind of upset because they had hoped to make profit off of her. And so in the bid of that, they took Paul and Silas and had them imprisoned. While Paul and Silas were in the prison, at night, they woke up and began praying and singing hymns to God. And an earthquake, I'm going to read exactly what happened. But at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God. And the prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone's chains were loosened. And the keeper of the prison awakened from his sleep, and seeing the prison doors open, he supposed that the prisoners, the prisoners had fled. He drew his sword and was about to kill himself. But Paul called with a loud voice, saying, Do, do yourself no harm, for we are all here. Then he called for a light, ran in and fell down trembling before Paul and Silas. And he brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? So based on this, God breaking the doors because Paul and Silas were just, in spite of them being in a difficult situation, they were serving God. And their serving God caused them to be locked up in prison. But guess what? They did not despair. They rather prayed and sang praises to God. And God did a miraculous thing and let the prison doors open. And guess what? They didn't run. They still did not run away. They saved, they loved so much that they were willing to save another person's life because the prison guard was about to commit suicide. But, this, but Paul said, no, don't do that. And then the prison guard ran to them and said, what must I do to be saved? And so, I'm going to read from verse 31. So they said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved, you and your household. Then they spoke the word of the Lord to him and, and to all who were in the house in his house, in the prisoner's house. And he took them the same hour of the night and washed their stripes. And immediately he and all his family were baptized. Now when he had brought them into his house, he set foot before them and he rejoiced, having believed in God with all his household. So that day the prisoner and his entire household accept Jesus as Lord and Savior. When we say saved, we're talking about saved from hellfire, saved from eternal death. And um, save from all that. So when you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you know Jesus died on the cross for you. And you are now saved from eternal death. And you believe in eternal life. You believe that you will rest in eternal life even after death. And so based on this situation, the household of that prisoner was saved. May God bless you. And may God empower you that even during your trying moments, you will have the strength to praise God and to sing to Him and to pray. And God will break those prison walls down. God bless you. And remember to love in all situations. 
May God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. And may God let this word sink within your heart in Jesus' name. Amen.